Now to a story we might just have preempted on this show yesterday, because with Rishi Sunak miles behind in the opinion polls, Boris Johnson is backing the Tories in a series of videos on social media. It's also been reported that thousands of letters signed by Mr Johnson will be sent to voters this week. Well, join me now to discuss this is Conservative peer, Lord Jonathan Marland. Lord Marland, thank you very much for joining us. So, is it time for the comeback kid? Is it time for Boris to dust off his bulldozer and do what he does best and steam in to save the day? Or, actually, why should he save Rishi Sunak? The man many think stabbed him in the back. Well, he's a Conservative is the first thing. And secondly, he wants to see his legacy as a part of the Conservative government of the 14 years, being um, cherished rather than trashed. So uh, it's the right thing to do, and I'm, I, I'm glad he's doing it, uh, particularly as he's limbering up for his 60th birthday this weekend. So it's one thing to send a couple of videos on TikTok. That's easy peasy. It's easy as well to send letters. Do you think we'll see him, see him returning to the stump? And if so, do you think it'll be backing candidates, pro-Johnsonite, friends and family, as it were, or will he actually appear alongside the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak? Well, we'll see. And as I said, I'll have a better idea when I've seen him uh, this weekend. But, uh, you know, he, as I said earlier, he wants to see his uh, the Conservatives re-elected, uh, any Conservative would want to. And uh, he has got that magic touch which people like to see and hear. And uh, he's a very charismatic politician. It's good to see him back actively supporting the Conservative Party and indeed the Prime Minister. It's fair to say Boris in his pomp, in his heyday, in his prime would be an electoral asset. But Lord Morland, of course, after Partygate and the, the spluttering end to his political career, does Boris Johnson now bring baggage that could be a hindrance? And furthermore, with the benefit of hindsight, can we actually learn now that Boris was actually quite a liberal on things like net zero, <laughs> quite a liberal on things like soft border control, all of those things promised in 2019 to get Brexit done and never really materialised? Well, I think a lot of things did materialise. He got us through COVID and was we were the first Western world um, country really to have vaccines and to get the country going again. He was very strong on Ukraine. Uh, yes, he has some uh, views which some people might describe as liberal, some people might describe as reasonable. Uh, and uh, w why wouldn't he? Uh, you know, most people do have compassionate views when it comes to immigration and such like issues. But uh, he's a very charismatic character. He does divide uh, opinion, obviously, but those uh, people who love him continue to love him, and he's got that X factor, and that's why I'm on your program because you, uh, as a member of the mighty media, have a fascination for Boris, and uh, rightly so because he's an amazingly charismatic politician. So, Lord Marland, indulge me here. Let, let's 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 go some chess it's a pleasure. moves it's been ahead. A pleasure to indulge you. <laughs> Let's go some chess moves ahead. Is this actually about a political comeback for Boris Johnson after the great forest fire, which many expect out of this general election? All eyes are on what the Conservative Party is going to rebuild itself. What mould will it be rebuilt in? Could this be a segue for Boris to get back in, maybe in a by-election? And I said, indulge me here. Could this be Boris making a play to head off the very real and emerging threat of a certain Mr Nigel Farage, who himself has eyes on rebuilding the Conservative movement? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think... Uh, it it's hard to say what Boris wants to do. There'll always be people who phone him up and say, Boris, we need you back. You're the only person who can save the country. Uh, of course, when he left office last time, within weeks they were asking him to come back when he was on holiday in the Caribbean. And uh, you asked me on your programme, you know, uh, should he come back? And I, my advice to him was don't. Uh, he, he'll consider, obviously, uh, the... Um, the desire, should we leave the, lose the election, which uh, with any luck we won't, but people will come to him and say, you know, Boris, we need you back. He'll consider it, I'm sure. And then he'll make a decision. You know, as you rightly point out, and you've an observer of all this uh, as much as I am, you know, he's not an elected politician. He would have to get a seat. 
seats don't become available overnight. Um, if the polls suggest we're going to have a disastrous election, there are going to be very few seats available. Uh, but I, I'm not sure that won't be the case. Uh, so he, he would have to do that. And I mean, I heard a rumour today from someone told me that David Cameron was thinking of renouncing his peerage and uh, running again for Parliament. I think that's highly unlikely as well. So there'll, there'll always be, as a, inevitably is, if the party were to lose, and it's a big if, uh, you know, a, a jostling for position of leadership and people considering their roles within it. So, Lord Marlon, finally, we've seen stranger things happen. Are you thinking a Rocky Bill Bauer style comeback is what the Conservative Party needs? And he's Boris punching the heavyweights to return. Is that what you want to see? It's not what I want to see. It's, uh, I want to see us win this election uh, and then we'll see what happens after that. Uh, Boris has got uh, that X factor. And you mentioned Nigel Farage. Many people say he's got that X factor. Uh, certainly, Nigel uh, Keir Starmer doesn't have uh, that X factor, and people like politicians with X factor, and uh, uh, you know they're, they're fascinated by them as you have been with those two characters. So we'll see what happens after the election. At the moment, there's no danger of him trying to use up um, the leadership. Why would he? He's not an elected politician. Okay, superb, sir. Thank you very much for joining us and indulging me, Lord Thank Jonathan Mullen. Thank you very much for having, for coming on the show. Now